all laptops have this thing called touchpad or trackpad. It is the built-in mouse of the machine, but why most people who own a laptop does not use it? Mouse costs extra money, consumes more power, and occupies at least one port for the laptop and you need to carry it along. So why bother connecting one to your machine? Is it because of the convenience that the computer mouse brings or because of the ignorance on how to properly set up your touchpad to be convenient for you? Well, don't answer that yet until you've watched and followed the contents of this video. Let's get started! Alright, as you can see, I'm on a dual screen here, so you can see what I'm doing in the touchpad and also what I'm doing in the screen. So let's go to the touchpad setting first. And to do that on Windows 7 and Windows 10, this will work. Just click the start and type in touchpad. And I think nobody's using Windows XP anymore, so that's good. And you can click any of this one. It will go to the touchpad setting. Or you can go the long way and go to the settings and then search for touchpad. Okay, let's reset this first right so for the first one touchpad of course it's on and then the second one leave touchpad on when a mouse is connected so when you when this is checked and then you connected an external mouse the touchpad will still work and i'd like to make this unchecked since my hand is big sometimes when i type something my hand touches the touchpad and it clicks something that I don't want to click or the mouse uh, goes to somewhere I don't want it to go so I just disable that to be sure and just a default setting for the cursor speed and also medium sensitivity for the touchpad I don't uh, change the default on that and just to mention all touchpad I think still have the physical left and right click here at the bottom and i don't use that anymore since it is more convenient to use the tabs so for the tap i always check everything so the first one tap with the single finger to single click so that's the simple tap just like that one so that's the equivalent of left click in the mouse left single click Okay, tap with two fingers to right click so using the two fingers and then tap once so that's right click okay let's right click on the taskbar okay and for the double click just do the double tap so for example here double click just a, a fast double tap Okay, right click is two finger. Okay, I think you get that now. And then tap twice and drag to multi select. So in the mouse, you have the ability to left click and hold it pressed and then drag the mouse to select an item or to drag something. So you can also do that in the touchpad by tapping twice, just like a double click, but you never lift up your finger. Just go to drag immediately so just like this one double tap then drag so as you can see i'm selecting the desktop and let's try that with the recycle bin double tap and not lifting the finger i can drag the icon okay and i can also drag the window just like what you do in the mouse see that so it's really easy. You really don't need the mouse if you know what to do with the touchpad. So for the last one, press the lower right corner of the touchpad to right click. So remember the physical right click button that I'm talking about earlier. So that enables that. So that if that is unchecked, this physical button will not work. 
so I leave that check so if I want a uh, fast right click I just click on this but you can also do the two finger tap for the right click so it's just the same okay for the scroll and zoom uh, drag two finger to scroll so I've been doing that earlier so two fingers and then scroll that's the equivalent of the scroll for the scrolling direction this depends on your preference but for me I'd like to set this to down motion scroll down so just like what happens when you scroll the wheel of the middle button of the mouse when you scroll down the screen goes up and when you scroll up the screen goes down so I'd like that better that's my choice here you can do that or not depending on your preference pinch the zoom I always check that um, it's like having a phone or a tablet for example in this picture I just pinch the zoom in and then zoom out see that just like using a cell phone or a tablet okay for the three finger gestures I use this to change the audio and volume as you can see here uh, three fingers scrolling up will set the volume up down is volume down and then previews and next track so let's try that so three finger look at the left top corner of the screen you can see the volume going down and then going up okay I am playing something here but I put the volume down since uh, I want you to hear my voice not this music so I can go next track can see it move and then previous track next track next track next track previews 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 so that's how easy it is and you can't do that on a mouse and for the three finger tap I always use this for the middle mouse button so remember the wheel in the middle of the mouse it's also a middle button so what's the use of the middle button I'll show you so you can use that to auto scroll so just do a single three finger tap you can see the mouse icon has turned into a circle with arrows so if you if you move the mouse down it will automatically scroll up and down and moving the mouse up will automatically scroll up so look ma no hands <laughs> okay and also another use of the middle mouse button when you're browsing uh, you can do a middle mouse on a link and it will open automatically on a new tab see that let's do that on this video see that it's on another tab usually when you want to do that you do a right click and then open the link to a new tab you don't need to do that anymore just a single tap with three finger it will open to a new tab right really easy what else okay the four finger gestures so for this i don't have any desktop and i use just one screen so i don't need to switch desktop and show desktop and if you're not a gamer or a developer you're usually like me just use one screen so i use this to switch apps and show desktop and then the tap goes to search or launch the search okay uh, for the switch app i'm sure you know the alt tab right when you want to switch windows so you don't need to do an alt tab anymore since you can do that on a four finger by setting this to switch apps and show desktop so scrolling left and right will let you select to switch to another app just like the alt tab so i want to go to the media player i want to go to the explorer i want to go back to the settings so it's that easy no keyboard needed and if you want to minimize everything uh, for example you have a cluttered screen just like this one 
just swipe down with four finger and it will show you the desktop okay so switch app left and right show desktop and then down and multitasking view when you scroll up feel easy right you can select the app here let's go back to the settings and for the tabs i just want to launch the window search see that just one tap then you can search here right so as you can see some things are more convenient here in using the touchpad compared to a mouse and some are admittedly more convenient using a mouse but again mouse costs money and uses power uses the port and it's something that you need to carry with you every time if you are used to a mouse so i suggest being familiar with your touchpad so you can save money especially now we are on a pandemic and also about the carpal tunnel syndrome um, i'm not saying that a mouse can cause a carpal tunnel syndrome because it's not on the device it's how you use it but when using a mouse you tend to move your hands and not your arms so that causes a lot of pressure in your wrist which then causes carpal tunnel syndrome but when using a touchpad you tend to move your hands along with your arms because you are using your finger to point and click so it is less pressure on your wrist which is good and i would recommend the touchpad over the mouse for that okay nelasuj for watching novaer